And we're backstage. This is the Bakersfield Music. It's the Rock and Country Festival. The first time Mike Panera right off the stage. How'd that feel, Mike? Oh, man, so good. The people here are so warm, <laughs> and the day is so warm. It's hot here. Nice. Yeah. I think summer has begun. Without a doubt. You know, and I want to thank George Martin and Wendy Kay for putting on such a great event. You know, the one we did in Huntington, yeah. we had like 30 stars, but there's like 50 stars yeah. here. It's and nonstop. We got Steppenwolf coming up. Everybody's yeah. coming. Yeah. Man, they're loving that Iron Butterfly. I know you got some guys back together. Tell us That's about right. that. Well, uh, I called the guys and I said we should have a reunion because my email is getting filled up with people saying, can you put the butterfly back together? Yeah. And this is the fourth time that I've done that. So we're uh, in the basic stages, okay. sorting things out. And uh, But we got the Blues Image yes. together with a brand new album called The Next Voyage. You ain't lived until you hear Ride Captain yeah. with a 40-piece orchestra. Well, we just heard it in Spanish. I mean, how many other languages are we going to do? <laughs> well, maybe later when you get a chance, come to our trailer, yes. and I'll plug you into the headset so you can hear Ride Captain with a 40-piece orchestra at Inagata de Vida with the B.B. King, God rest his soul, horn section. Are you serious? Yeah, man. I'll no, play where, where did you do the orchestra at? We did the orchestra in Orlando right there at his studio. Okay. It's called Solar Studios. Wow. Down in and, that... Down in the swamp lands of Florida, huh? No, no. Uh, across the street from Universal Studios. <laughs> okay. This is Mike Franklin, I my do. good buddy, up, my good, keyboard good. player. I'm his guitar player. No, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing the orchestrated... Great interview. Orchestrated ride, Captain Ride. Tell How us you like about that? that. Well, you know, um, I was watching a video the other day where the very first day I ever played with Mike, I was music director on Wolfman Jack's television show, and Wolfman was humming Ride, Captain Ride one day going to lunch. And then I said, hey, man, I like that song. He says, yeah, I like, I like that song. I can get that guy. I said, great. Within a week, Mike was on our TV show. And the very first time we ever play Ride, Captain Ride, I'm on with Mike, 25 years ago, he gives Wolfman a gold album, gold gold album. Go, of, of Ride, Captain Ride for you know being such a good Midnight Special or which show? It was called Rock and Roll Palace. It was okay. Wolfman Jack's Rock and oh, yeah, Roll yeah, Palace. Yeah, I remember that. And I was the music director on all those shows. It's on YouTube, right it's next like, yeah, to you your video with me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have offices in the same building with Wolfman. Yes. Wow. Hollywood and Vine, right so there. So we, we have played together off and on for a lot of things, a lot of different projects. This classic rock all-star thing. I was the head of rock, uh, hard rock music for a long time, okay. uh, Hard Rock Live. Sure. And I brought Mike in, and we did, we did a lot of stuff together, been great friends. And... Just had this idea about Ride Captain Ride. I mean, I've heard it in so many movies and Anchorman 2. And I started dreaming this little dream and I wanted to do a record what with him anyway because I was right. a real blues image nut. Sure. I can remember like putting the speakers and listening to them to leave my troubles behind mm. ignited me into being a keyboard player. So, uh, can we play him some of the stuff later in the Sure, sure, sure. Room? But the whole that. orchestrated thing was sort yeah. of like Ride Captain Ride and I came up with a little interlude. And then turn it into an orchestral thing. It's it's great, man. It's Amazing. really great. You're going to be the first person here from the well, industry. It, by it's the way. a real privilege, Mike. All right. And and what is it about the music from from that era, the '60s and the '70s? Just never dies. It sounds timeless, like it was just recorded last week. You're right. I think what it is is the people that make that music are really into it. They believe in it. They put their heart and soul into it, and it shows. Nowadays, you have some great musicians and great songs, but it's very business colored. Yeah. But back there, brother. They say, I don't care if it makes money. I don't care if it's commercial. That is what I wrote, and that's what I want to hear. And it was pure. It was straight up, whether they did it acoustic or did it at Woodstock. That's it exactly. Thus, you got Inagata de Vida. I mean, holy mackerel, 17 minutes, 32 seconds. Wow. The first platinum record ever given to any group. And, you know, I I'm glad. I was with Alice Cooper. I'm glad and I'm blessed to have been with such great groups in my career. Yeah. So many great memories. Like I said, I remember you with the guitar duo with Ted Nugent. They were incredible days. Yes. And, and we're gonna Ted's still again. doing it. He's still doing it. And we were talking face to face the other day, and he said, maybe we should do that guitar battle again. Except this time, instead of calling it the battle of the guitars, we'll call it the guitar battle of the century. Yes. And he says, can I bring my bow and arrow? I said, sure, Ted. Sure. You bring the bow and arrow. Hard to tell Ted no on nothing, you know? You know what freaked me out? We were backstage, and it was a huge uh, festival with heavy groups, okay. Quiet Riot and yeah. stuff like that. And he says, I don't want anybody back here but Mike Panera, nobody else. And so I'm sitting there talking to him, and I look through the window, and I see Bobby V from the 50s. <laughs> Take good care of my baby. And I said, Ted, you won't believe it, Bobby V out there. And I thought, oh, my God, Ted's so over to the left. He may say, bring him in here. I want to strangle him or something. 
do you know what he did? He said, do you know Bobby V? I said, yeah. He said, bring him here. So me, Bobby V, and Ted Nugent talking for about an hour straight, and Nugent telling him how he, he, he did the whole thing that they did for Alice. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy to Bobby. And Bobby said, is he for real? I said, man, he's your biggest fan. So go Grew figure. up on him. Ted's great, yeah. That's amazing, amazing stuff. Now, what do you do to keep in shape, to, to pace yourself, to keep your youthful energy? Yeah. Well, first thing is I try to think right. I try to behave rightly. Mindset. Yeah, yeah. I'm very old-fashioned when it comes to those values. I validate and I acknowledge the higher power. Whatever you'd like to call him is fine with me. But as long as you know, something. yeah, he's as long as you know he's higher than you. You got to serve. Yeah. So no, that's it. Really, I acknowledge the Creator, and then I keep away from drugs and alcohol, which I always didn't do. You knew that. Sure. I used to be quite the party guy, but yeah. not anymore, man. Because I no. found everything I need. You can't fly with the eagles right in here. doing that. No, you can't. And I've got an important message to give to people about peace and love. So I got to take good care of myself. So I've got a motive, a goal, and an agenda. That's amazing. Now, with the little Latin touch, obviously Latinos are growing in this country. Obviously, you, you grew up speaking Spanish? Tell yes. us about yeah. that element of what you do. Well, Bobby can also tell you, too. He, he and I started the Blues Image together in Tampa, which is primarily Latino. Well, yeah, at my house, it was always about talking in Spanish. My dad loved to sing. He'd sing all these 30s and 40s ballads. I love you truly. I said, let me sing something. La Bamba. But no, what happened was I started phasing it in to my performances, and lo and behold, I realized there are now 100 million Latinos that are attending concerts and buying rock music. Yeah. I don't really care about it, but you can't hide it. Yeah. And so I, I go into the party. Without a doubt. Did you see them when I did the little Spanish sure, part? Sure. They all, there was half the audience was singing along in Spanish. Yeah. So I believe in it. I believe that everybody should acknowledge the music. Music is the universal language. That's right, brother. Great to see you, Mike. I'm going to join you in the trailer. I can't wait for that world premiere. You got it. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks so much. All right.